call this meeting to order. I would ask everybody to please either silence or turn off your cell phones during this meeting. Also, anybody that wants an opportunity or has the opportunity to speak must stand up or be recognized by the chair and state their name and address. At this point, I'm going to turn it over to our attorney, Elizabeth Goodman. Hi. Um, also, we're passing around a sign-in sheet, so everybody here, please sign your name in, in a legible manner, so maybe print your name and uh, put it on your address. Thank you. Um, so the agenda today is, a, is an open meeting, a public meeting, at the request of Chief Tobin. Chief Tobin, the board wanted to do this in executive session, which um, is normally the way uh, complaints are raised, but you asked for it to be done in public. So uh, we're prepared to go ahead with the issues that have been presented to the commissioners about your work here, but I would pose to you a question. Uh, you have said in writing to the board that you will be leaving on your own accord by the new year. And so that's about four months from now. And since we are aware of complaints against you, uh, I'm wondering what it would be like if you would prefer to just reach a chord with the board about when you would be leaving and what it would take to have you leave sooner than four months, voluntarily. I'm just here to listen. This is the first I've seen, seen of this. And, uh, okay. I really don't have anything to comment on. So, so if, you, if you're not um, willing to negotiate that, we'll, we'll give you an outline of the issues that have been coming before the board. And the board will make a determination um, a after hearing those. So I interviewed several employees of the department. And I know of three women who have been harassed, um, intimidated, yelled at, and have raised issues with the commissioners. And furthermore, there are women who have said you've talked in a sexual manner about your body parts, and this is sexual harassment, and the board is required to address those issues. Um, that's just the start. Um, so these employees have come forward. There's also a letter I think you've seen, dated July 23rd, signed by many members of the fire department raising concerns, serious concerns, about your um, conduct towards them. I'm also aware that you made the choice to hire uh, people who were working on the ambulance who were not certified as EMTs, um, and they are riding on the ambulance without certification um, at cost to the taxpayers of the district, and also putting at risk the license for the ambulance services. Um, these serious allegations have led the board to request this meeting. And I understand that you also have been raising, um, you've done a public record request, you've been raising questions about budgetary issues, but in, in weighing the balance um, with the conduct of your um, employees' concerns, uh, the board has decided that it, it is going to take action. And does, do the commissioners want to speak now to their own decision or, or information about this? Um, basically, looking at the employment agreement that we had with uh, Chief Tobin, there were um, things that had to be done in the first six months that did not get done. Um, EMT certification. EMT cer certification, okay. fire prevention, officer, officer basics level one and two. Fire Prevention Officer Basic Certification Acquired, um, Massachusetts EMT in FOP Level 1, Level 2 not obtained. Um, those were things that were required. Um, we, also, we also found out that there was a mismanagement in the, the grant for bunker gear, and that was overspent um, over the amount of the grant plus the, the amount that the district had to, or was, um, putting into that uh, amount of money. Uh, there's been reviews for existing training documentations to ensure Dalton's Fire Department meets state and federal regulations 
given concerns for OSHA compliance, training credentials for all fire personnel. To the third rider currently licensed as a first responder. Um, if not, it is illegal for them to drive the, drive the ambulance, putting our licensures as an EMT provider at risk. Yeah, um, just a little bit of a discussion about um, a discussion I had with the chief. Um, kind of trying to get an update on what's going on with uh, where the plan is and what direction we're going forward with the building next door um, that the uh, commissioners had voted not to proceed with. Um, I was told that, you know, we can always buy it and sell it later as a, for a profit. Uh, at that time, I also asked about a request I've made in the past about uh, an evaluation of the equipment that we have and whether it meets our needs, where we should be going forward, um, and what we need in the future. Um, I haven't received that report. And thirdly, I asked the chief, uh, because I had appro been approached, um, excuse me, I hadn't been approached, I had asked in my normal check-in with people how's things going today when I come in to do uh, commissioner business, um, so people mentioned to me some morale issues. So I asked the chief about that, if he was aware of that, any morale issues, whether he was seeing that. Um, he didn't, didn't answer that, but at that point he told me, I'm not gonna talk anymore, I got things to do, and off he went. Uh, slammed his door and then left for the day. That's one of my examples of uh, uh, just the, the response I get when I ask a question. Dallas, I've had several talks with you uh, in the past about uh, hiring people, and I had to remind you that it's not in the budget, but uh, you still can continue to talk about it. Do you want to take a vote to suspend that? Or do you want to see who wants to respond to that? Sir, what we have to say. Okay. Would you like a response, Mr. Or Chief Tobin? Do you want to say anything in response to these allegations? No, this is your show. Enjoy it. Okay. And you had the right to bring counsel with you or other um, support, and you chose not to. Um, so, I'm waiting to see if the board wants to, and then, and then we'll meet again. You could suspend for now and, and meet again. Okay. Okay, and then you'll hold another meeting and you'll, okay. So, um, you want to do a motion, a motion to suspend? I make, I make a motion that we suspend the chief for, for a time period of four weeks um, on administrative leave with pay. Um, so that he has a chance to come back to, to come back to us with any response. We will meet again at the end of the four weeks and render our, render our decision at that point. Second. We move in second, any discussion? Yeah, yeah. My name is Don Davis, Hersher Road. Uh, I've only been involved for a very, very short time um, with you guys and the fire department and the chief. And in the past, since I've lived here for 25 years, that the Dalton Fire District has been a very uh, great group of people and moving forward with it. And uh, the fire chief, I've known for a very short time, but he seems very, very uh, knowledgeable, and um, I believe he's got a lot of integrity, and uh, I think that there's probably a lot of other issues that uh, probably will be brought up moving forward, but uh, I've never heard anybody speak uh, irrational or harsh about this fire chief. Maybe he's a little aggressive moving forward. 
that's the personality some people have, but I um, uh, had no problems with the former chief. So, um, go with the chief before him. So, I just think that, uh, you know, there's two different ways of going here. We have a volunteer fire department, and we're trying to get uh, maybe accredited or certified or certification. I think it's going to bump some roads down the way. But um, I think we got a very, very big problem here that uh, it's going to need a lot of further looking into. I was just wondering if there was anybody here from the president of the Prudential Committee today? No, there is not. Okay. And uh, is it supposed to, is it supposed to be or no? No. Okay. Thank you. Any others? Um, State name and address. Please. My name is uh, Tom Irwin. I live at uh, on Central Ave in Dalton. Um, I have not been involved in day-to-day -day operations of the uh, fire department, so I can't speak to that. Um, I've had I've several interactions with many of the staff um, here at the fire department and uh, have worked extensively, as you know, um, on a potential future uh, firehouse for this department. And um, in all of those experiences, uh, I personally have not had any uh, negative uh, interactions with the chief, and I have not had any, op any situations in which uh, I've heard anything negative about how he has performed. Uh, Again, I don't work on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not privy to some of the commentary that you folks have had, but uh, in, as far as my interactions have gone, uh, they have all been positive with this chief. And uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Todd Logan, should I stand? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Todd Logan, uh, Curtis Ave. I, I just, the, the thing I'm confused about here is that there was this long list of accusations, and every uh, environment I've ever worked with that's, that's government related or uh, regulated in any way, there's a, a really clear process about how to approach people who violated internal you know, rules within the organization, or if it's a, a formal complaint of some sort. It just, it's very odd to me that so many complaints are being consolidated into one hearing. Why, can you, can you please explain why these weren't brought to him, you know, in the order that they came up over time? Um, they weren't brought up as they came in because a lot of the people that had made those accusations um, feel that there will be, there'll be retaliation against anybody that speaks out. And this is not the first time that the district has had to deal with this kind of situation. Um, so the chief has also said that the board has, has not worked with him, so he doesn't seem to feel that he needs to work with us. So there <coughs> have been no really good intercommunications between the board of water commissioners and the fire chief's office. Um, so at that point, we decided that, because everything was being done through email now, that uh, we needed to have this sit down and we needed to alleviate the issue. At this time, I'm not taking any more questions since this is not going to result. Yeah, go ahead. Once again, Don Davis, um, I just want to add to um, I have talked to staff here, and everybody was positive for him, and, and uh, I do think that, um, you know, uh, through your last meetings, there's been handbooks and handbook addresses, and if we had them violations right off from the start, then they should have been dealt with by the board right away, and retaliation, as long as they put a complaint in, I don't believe it would be considered retaliation, but I do believe that this board gives, in my opinion, a lot of mixed messages, and I think that's what's uh, trans up and transpired just with the building across the street and uh, where we were going with it and uh, where we won't, where we're not now, I guess. Are we not moving forward with the building next door now? 
That is not the topic of this conversation or this meeting. Thank you. Yes. Mark Strauss, here with Hemlock Health. Just curious, who will be conducting the investigation and what the time of the complaints? Who's going to be conducting the investigation? And what's the time frame, of not, not to get into the details of the complaints, but what's the time frame of when the complaints were received? The complaints have been received over the last month and a half, or maybe a little longer than that. Um, the complaints were sent back to ask that they go through the chain of command, and they came back to us because they didn't ascend through the chain of command to, to the chief's position. Um, we will be looking into this in the four-week period that we just set us up, set up, and when we come back, we'll have our decision at that point. I would recommend that the uh, water commission hire an outside firm to do the investigation. That would be my recommendation. No, did. Thank you. I'm going to move the motion at this. Yeah. Uh, Bishop 54 South Street. I just want to know from the board if you're going to address the chief's complaints and when. Yeah. When? When we reconvene, we'll have all here. Again, this this packet was just given us to us today. We have the complaints that he's emailed to us, but they're they're not complaints. I mean, part of it is, I think part of it is how he would like to proceed and. But we'll answer those at that point. At this point, I'll move the motion. Yes. Uh, Jim Peltier of Flansburg F. Um, reading through this, it seems like um, just prior to me being terminated from that same position as a current chief, uh, it seems like an awful lot of the same things that happened and a lot of cover and darkness from the commissioners and um, the department. A lot of nameless accusations that were failed to be provided and again when things go undealt with history repeats itself. So when there's a lack of uh, accountability on the commissioner's side because who actually runs you is a credential but we don't have anyone here from that. So I think that the, the important part is, is there's darkness strewn throughout the fire department and then you come up with certain things or people come to you with uh, nameless accusations and then it's, it's actually thrown upon you and you have no time to react. No, I'm not, we're not entertaining any more questions at this point. I'd like to make the motion, move the motion forward. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Please adjourn.